A very, very good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Home Choir, uh, and welcome to the Fun Friday. This Friday, well, I've decided to just roll out the barrel, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a knees up. And uh, for those of you not from the UK, a knees up, well, this is just where everyone gets together and sings good old rousing, usually Cockney music hall songs. And so one of the new songs we're going to look at today is called Knees Up Mother Brown. Now, before I get to what we're singing today, I'd just like to share a couple of... Um, of rather nice things I've been sent. So just let me get my slides. Let me get my, my ducks in a row. So here we go. So first of all, we've got this lovely picture here from Anna. Thank you so much for sending this, Anna. This is the sunset yesterday in Portugal. For those of us who miss the sun, there it is. Wave, because it's, it's going again. <laughs> Haven't seen the sun like that for a while, but thank you so much for sending that to us, Anna, and lovely to have you with us. So today, everybody, as I said, it's Fun Friday, it's a knees up, and so we're going to sing Any Old Iron, Any Old Iron, Any, Any, Any Old Iron, uh, Don't Dilly Dally on the Way, which is one of my favourites, and I know it's uh, a favourite of Bill and Helen in California, and hello to you guys. Uh, we're going to learn Knees Up Mother Brown, which shouldn't take very long at all, because I think most people know the tune. Uh, then we're going to sing Sister Susie's Sewing Shirts for Soldiers, so make sure you pop your teeth in by then and then we finish with my old man's a dustman which you know is my absolute favorite so we're going to have a really really good time this afternoon now before we start just let me run through my bits and pieces here so i've had four submissions so far for ave verum corpus which is fantastic so if you haven't been around this week we have launched home choir's first um, multi-faced multi-recording video um, there are recording tracks out there if you would like to be involved in that we would love to have a submission from you you can sing soprano alto tenor bass whichever you like um, so if you just go to the channel and you, you look at the recently posted videos, you'll find them there. There's a playlist, it's called Home Choir Recording Videos. You can find it that way. Um, if you would be happy to send me your recordings, they can be video or audio, either's fine. If you could get those to me within the next two weeks, okay? Closing date is two weeks today, and I will then uh, edit all of those together, and we will have Home Choir's first performance. Hello, Patrick and Judith. Lovely to see you. Hello, Glenis. Okay, so, and uh, Sunday, we have our Sacred Sing. Uh, which is going to be lovely. Here's the programme. So it's I Sat Down Under His Shadow by Bairstow, The Silver Swan by Gibbons, which I concede is not a sacred piece, but fits with the theme of the weekend. Uh, if You Love Me, and then Deep River and Oh What a Beautiful City. Now the teaching videos have just gone live. Oh, the one for Deep River has just gone up, and I Sat Down Under His Shadow will be up about two minutes after we finish broadcasting. So if you don't know these pieces, go and learn them. Okay, many, many thanks to those of you that have joined the Patreon. Uh, as I've said, it means a huge amount to us. Uh, it, it literally means the difference between us making these videos and me having to get a job. Um, so <laughs> thank you very much indeed to those of you that have supported us. If you are interested uh, in helping us make videos uh, and helping support us, then please consider going to patreon.com slash home choir um, and consider joining. It's it's not uh, obligatory, but it's very much appreciated. So thank you, everybody. Um, so the programme for today, Any Old Iron, will be starting in just a minute. I'm going to go back to my full screen, I think. Bear with me a moment. There we go. We'll get warmed up now, I think. So if everybody could please be upstanding and planting those feet to shoulders width apart. Now, many of you know already that uh, I'm not from Bristol originally. I am from Rumford in Essex, which is um, just, just on the border of East London. And so I, I didn't grow up speaking like this, ladies and gentlemen. I grew up talking a bit more like this. And now we're going into sort of Cockney musical mode. I'm just going to sit in this this kind of voice for the next half hour or so. All right. So anybody out there who's tuning in goes, what on earth happened to Ben? <sighs> I am at my most relaxed, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to ask you to relax with me, all right? And just allow your shoulders to relax. And if you're like me, if you were told growing up, don't talk like that, don't drop your T's, don't drop your H's, can I invite you like me to just let all that go for the next 25 minutes or so while we sing these fun songs, all right? Roll those shoulders around. Thank you very much. Roll them back the other way. Great. Up to your ears, please. Take a deep breath. And let them go. Wonderful. All right. Now then, we'll just tilt our head to one side. And the other. And forwards. And backwards. And to the middle. Very nice, ladies and gents. Okay. What we're going to do this, this uh, fine afternoon, we'll do a bit of humming to start with. So hum with me, please. And... Mm, 
up a semitone. Mm. Now, after me, have a banana. And have a banana. And have a banana. Your turn. Have a banana. 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 Okay. And now I did a yai dai. Pom pom. I did a yai dai. Pom pom. I did a yai dai. Pom pom. I did a yai dai. I did a yai dai. Pom pom. I did a yai dai. Pom pom. Fantastic. Very nice. Cockney warm-ups, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to start with any old iron. And I'm going to bring the words up on screen now. There we go. All right, so if you need the words, they are here on the screen. You are, of course, welcome to look them up. Um, you can find the sheet music for this if you Google. Um, but we're going to sing along with this, uh, this, this tale of woe. <laughs> Poor old chap. All he wants to do is look smart. Dressed up in his uh, uh, in his Sunday best. Now, uh, again, if you don't know this song, um, you'll pick up the tune very quickly. But there'll be some words in here, particularly those of you not from the UK, that won't make a lot of sense. A lot of this is uh, is old-fashioned English. A lot of it is slang. Um, so, for example, just for those who don't know the song, uh, if you see here, um, went and kicked the bucket. Okay, if you kick the bucket, he died. All right, uh, he left me in his will. And um, that means he left me something after he died. Um, this line, thought I looked a dandy as it dangled on my chest. I thought I looked pretty nice. I thought I looked a dandy. Um, and then in the chorus, you look dapper from your napper to your feet. You look dapper. You look really smart. You look fantastic from your napper to your feet. Dressed in style with a brand new tile. Your tile is your hat. Like a roof has a tile. So you can put on a brand new tile. Um, tuppence, two pennies, not a lot. I think that's about it. Oh, Darby Kell. That's the other one. Darby Kell, a gentleman of, of stature, will have a portly uh, a portly front piece known as a Darby Kell. All right? So if you if you enjoy a, a, a pint or two and a pie, you'll have a Darby Kell. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, one more. There is one more. Mid dial. Your face is your dial, like a clock. Okay? So that's it translated back into Cockney mode. Let's have a bit of any old iron. Everybody... Oh, it's close. And just a week or two ago, me poor old Uncle Bill went and kicked the bucket and he left me in his will. The other day I popped around to see old Auntie Jane. She said, your Uncle Bill has left to you a watch and chain. I put it on right across me vest. Thought I'd look a dandy as it dangled on me chest. Just to flash it off, I started walking round about. A lot of kiddies followed me and all began to shout, everybody. Any old iron, any old iron, any, any, any old iron. You look neat, talk about a treat. You look dapper from your nipper to your feet. Dressed in style, brand new tile, and your father's old green tie on. But I wouldn't give it up and saw your old watch chain. Old iron, old iron. I won't forget the day I went to London on the spree. I saw the mayor of London there, that's who I went to see. He dashed up at a canter with a carriage and a pair. I shouted, come on boys, we'll throw your hats up in the air. Just then the mayor, he began to smile. Pointed to my face and said, Lord Lummy, what a dial. Started Lord a merring and then to my dismay, he pointed to me watch and chain and shouted to me, hey. Any old iron, any old iron, any, any, any old iron. You look neat, talk about a treat. You look dead from your napper to your feet. Dressed in style, brand new tile, and your father's old green tie on. But I wouldn't give it up and saw your old watch chain. Old iron, old iron. Third verse. I shan't forget the day I married Miss Eliza Brown. The way the people laughed at me, it made me feel a clown. I began to wonder when the dials began to crack. If by some mistake I'd got me trousers front to back. I wore me chain 
On me Derby Kell, the sun was shining on it and it made me look a swell. The organ started playing, the bells began to ring, the people started laughing and the choir began to sing. Everybody, any old iron, any old iron, any, any, any old iron. You look neat, talk about a treat, you look dapper from your neighbour to your feet. Dressed in style, brand new tile, and your father's old green tie on. But I wouldn't give it up and sorry, roll watch train, old iron, old iron. Da 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 Fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. Well done. Blinding, superb and brilliant. Do please rehydrate yourselves. Thank you. And we shall move on to our next song. This is Don't Dilly Dally on the Way. Uh, a song of... An, another song of woe. I'll be honest, a lot of these songs are um, songs where people are describing situations where things go absolutely horribly wrong. And then you get a sort of chorus like, oh well. <laughs> That's very typical, I think, of uh, of British uh, British songs. So this one, again, if you don't know it, follow it along. It's a really, really good tune. Excellent, uh, excellent, catchy, catchy melody. Let's have a look. Julie's saying we have most of these words in Canada. Ooh, get you and your words. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see how we get on. Uh, time for a bit of Don't Dilly Dally, everybody. Here we go. And... Uh... We had to move away Cause the rent we couldn't pay The moving van came round just after dark There was me and my old man Shoving things inside the van Which we'd often done before Let me remark We packed all that could be packed In the van and that's a fact And we got inside all we could get inside Then we packed all we could pack On the tailboard at the back Till there wasn't any room for me to ride Everybody, oh my old man Said follow the van And don't dilly dally all the way Off went the cart with me own packed in it I walked behind with me old cockle in it But I dillied and dallied Dallied and dillied Lost the van and don't know where to roam I stopped on the way to at the old half Coulton And I can't find my way home I gave a helping hand with the marble wash and stand And straight we wasn't getting on so bad all at once the car man bloke had an accident and broke Well, the nicest bit of china that I had You'll understand, of course, I was cross about the loss Same as any other human woman would But I soon got over that, what with two out and a chat Cos it's little things like that what does you good Oh my old man said follow the van and don't dilly dally on the way off went the cart with me own packed in it i walked behind with me old cockle in it but i dillied and dallied dallied and dillied lost the van and don't know where to roam now who's gonna put up the old iron bedstead if i can't find my way home Next verse Oh, I'm in such a mess I don't know the new address Don't even know the blessed neighbourhood And I feel as if I might Have to stay out all the night And that ain't gonna do me any good Is it, folks? Now I don't make no complaint But I'm coming over faint What I need now is a good substantial feed and I sort of kind of feel, if I don't soon have a meal, I shall have to rob the linnet of his seed. Everybody, oh my old man, said follow the van and don't dilly dally on the way. Off went the cart with me own packed in it. 
I walk behind with me old cock linnet, but I dillied and dallied, dallied and dillied, lost the van and don't know where to roam. You can't trust the specials like the old time coppers when you can't find your way home. Cheers, everyone. Fantastic. Oh, to be a Londoner, says Christine. Thank you. Oh, cheers, Anne. See you soon. Fabulous. Now then, Hel uh, Heather. Hello, Heather. Always used to sing How's Your Father. That's right. A bit of How's Your Father. Now then, let's let's have a look at the new song for today, folks. This is Knees Up Mother Brown. Okay, and it's not Knees Up Mother Brown. It's Knees Up Mother with double V, Bran. B-R-A-H-N. Bran. Okay, can everyone say Knees Up Mother Brown? And... Not bad, not bad. Need longer sound on the bran. All right, so again, knees up, mother bran. And very nice, very, very nice indeed. In fact, we would say very nice. Very, very nice indeed, folks. Now, this song goes, get the right key. Okay. So, it goes. Knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, Mother Brown, under the table you must go, E-I-E-I-E-I-O, and if I catch you bending, I'll saw your legs right off. Knees up, knees up, don't get the breeze up, knees up, Mother Brown. Okay, now many of you will know that tune. It is, after all, a very well-known classical melody. It's not. Okay, let's have a go at this. So if you don't know it, listen, we'll do this a number of times. Knees up, Mother Brown. Two, three, four. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Under the table you must go. E-I-E-I-E-I-O. If I catch you bending, I'll saw your legs right off. Knees up, knees up, don't get the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown again. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Under the table you must go. E-I-E-I-E-I-O. And if I catch you bending, I'll saw your legs right off. Knees up, knees up, don't get the breeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. <laughs> I would really love to hear how many people know this song and have sung it before. And how many people this is a totally new song for them. Okay, because, I mean, I, I literally grew up singing this song. And so the next bit is the uh, the refrain. So after we've done a few rounds of Knees Up Mother Brown, we sing the refrain, which goes, Oh my, what a rotten song. What a rotten song, oh, what a rotten song. Oh my, what a rotten song. And what a rotten singer too. And that's the refrain. So let's have a go at that. It goes, oh my, what a rotten song with me and oh my, what a rotten song. Good. And then what a rotten song, oh, what a rotten song with me and what a rotten song, what a rotten song. And then third line, same as the first. Oh my, what a rotten song. It goes up at the end. And what a rotten singer to, to end. Let's give it a go from the third line. Oh my, what a rotten song. And oh my, what a rotten song. And what a rotten singer to. Let's do it from the beginning. <laughs> Lots of people are saying they've never heard this. And lots of people have said that they uh, they do. Norb is asking for a special um, a special session on Cockney language. Okay, only if you promise to do a, help me out with my German. Okay, because Cockney German is not good. <laughs> it's nicht good. It's nicht so good. <laughs> Danke schön. Right then, one more time. Knees up, Mother Brown, ladies and gentlemen. All the way through. Have lots of fun. Now, if you are sitting, if you are sitting down, can I invite you to be upstanding so we can get those knees up? The whole point is, it's supposed to be one of those dances where you're getting your knees up. Uh, and if I do catch you bending, ladies and gentlemen, I will have to saw your knees right off, but they will be digital knees. All right, so you can just download a new pair. Here we go. Uh, uh. Knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, Mother Brown, under the table you must go, E-I-E-I-E-I-O, and if I catch you bending, I'll saw your legs right off. Knees up, knees up, thank the breeze up, knees up, Mother Brown again. Knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, Mother Brown, under the table you must go, E-I-E-I-E-I-O, and if I catch you bending, I'll saw your legs right off. 
knees up, knees up, don't get the breeze up, knees up, Mother Brown. Oh my, what a rotten song, what a rotten song, what a rotten song. Oh my, what a rotten song, and what a rotten singer too. Knees up, Mother Brown, knees up, Mother Brown, under the table you must go. E I E I E I O, and if I catch you bending, I'll saw your legs right off. Knees up, knees up, don't get the breeze up, knees up, Mother Brown, one more time. Oh my, what a rotten song, what a rotten song, what a rotten song. Oh my, what a rotten song, and what a rotten singer too. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck getting that out of your head before Sunday, all right? <laughs> I, do you think it would work in a sacred thing? What do you think? So just before the minute of silence, to just go, what a rotten singer to... Oi! Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd invite you now to have a minute of silence. Bow your head. <laughs> I know. I'll, I'll add it to the list. Let's see. Um, so our next song, ladies and gents, is... Well, hopefully you should be warmed up by now. Because uh, this is Sister Susie's Sewing Shirts for Soldiers. And if you've not sung this one before, bless you. This is going to be an interesting experience for you. Uh, if you've got a good Sean Connery impression, this makes it easier. Okay, as I've said before, if you can just do Sister Susie Shank, Shirts for Soldiers, Mitch Money Penny, then that makes it a bit easier. Um, but otherwise, just have fun with this one, folks. Let's remind ourselves how the chorus for this one goes, all right? The chorus, Sister Susie. And if you're looking at the uh, screen here, it's this bit down here. Sister Susie's Sewing Shirts for Soldiers. Oh, great. Oh, lovely. Lots of people enjoying it. Completely new for Patrick. Hope you liked it, Patrick. Fabulous. I am silly, but yes. Well, you've, you, you, you know me by now, folks. Come on. What's the point in being sensible? Right. Sister Susie. The chorus goes like this. It goes, Sister Susie's sewing shirts for soldiers. Such skill at sewing shirts our shy young sister Susie shows. Some soldiers send epistles, say they'd sooner sleep in thistles than the saucy soft short shirts for soldiers Sister Susie sews. It's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. It's a doddle, isn't it? Let's sing it slowly, okay? Let's remind ourselves, for those who don't know it, and if you if you do know it, just feel smug and superior to everybody else who's just learning it. While we sing the chorus, Sister Susie, it goes. Sister Susie sewing shirts for soldiers. One more time. Sister Susie sewing shirts for soldiers. Good. Such skill at sewing shirts our shy young sister Susie shows. And such skill at sewing shirts our shy young sister Susie shows. Well done. That was a tricky one, isn't it? And then some soldiers send epistles. And some soldiers send epistles. Say they'd sooner sleep in thistles. And say they'd sooner sleep in thistles. Than the saucy soft short shirts for soldiers, Sister Susie sews. Than the saucy soft short shirts for soldiers, Sister Susie sews. Everybody with me. And Sister Susie sewing shirts for soldiers. Such skill at sewing shirts our shy young Sister Susie shows. Some soldiers send epistles, say they'd sooner sleep in thistles. Than the saucy soft short shirt for soldiers, Sister Susie sews. There we go. Okay, folks, let's have a go at the whole song. If you don't know it yet, uh, this is one of the first ones we did on Home Choir um, when it relaunched in September. The teaching video is there for you, and you can watch it whenever you like. <laughs> Anna's son cannot stop laughing. Hello, Anna's son. What's your son's name? I'll say hello to him. So let's sing this one all the way through, ladies and gentlemen. This one's got a couple of verses. It does have another verse, which I'll introduce at some point. Um which is all about uh, Susie's brother, Gus, who sings with a lisp. <laughs> you can already imagine what the chorus is like when Gus, when Gus is singing. <laughs> so we'll, we'll have a look at that one, I think, at a future session. But let's sing this all the way through. Uh, and then we've got time for just one more. And uh, yeah, my old man's just outside getting ready for it. So here we go. <laughs> Something like that. 
Sister Susie sewing in the kitchen on a singer. There's miles and miles of flannel on the floor and up the stairs. And father says it's rotten getting mixed up with the cotton and sitting on the needles that she leaves upon the chairs. And should you knock at our street door, Ma whispers, come inside. Then when you ask where Susie is, she says with loving pride. Sister Susie's sewing shirts for soldiers. Such skill at sewing shirts our shy young sister Susie shows. Some soldiers send epistles, say they'd sooner sleep in thistles than the saucy salt short shirts for soldiers. Sister Susie sews again. Sister Susie's sewing shirts for soldiers. Such skill at sewing shirts our shy young sister Susie shows. Some soldiers send epistles, say they'd sooner sleep in thistles than the saucy salt short Shirts for soldiers, Sister Susie sews. Well done, everybody. Here we go, verse 2. I forgot to tell you that our sister Susie's married, and when she isn't sewing shirts, she's sewing other things. Then little sister Molly says, Oh, Susie's got a dolly. She's making all the clothes for it with pretty bows and things. Says Susie, don't be silly, as she blushes and she sighs. Then mother smiles and whispers with a twinkle in her eyes. Sister Susie sewing shirts for soldiers. Such skill at sewing shirts our shy young sister Susie shows. Some soldiers send epistles, say they'd sooner sleep in thistles than the saucy soft short shirts for soldiers. Sister Susie sews one more time and fast. Sister Susie sewing shirt for soldiers. Such skill at sewing shirts our shy young sister Susie he shows. Some soldiers send epistles, say they'd sooner sleep in thistles than the saucy soft short shirts for soldiers. Sister Susie sews. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. <laughs> now, if you just want to wipe the screen down a little bit, I'm going to have to do that to my iPad here. <laughs> it's a very productive song, isn't it? Fabulous. Now then, we have one more song to sing, and it's my favourite. This is My Old Man's Dustman. And, um, I, well, my wife, Anna, dedicated this one to her dad, Tony. And if you're watching Tony, hello, very good afternoon. Um, she dedicated this one to him. Now, he was, he, he trained, actually, originally as a dustman. He ended up as a director of, of cleansing for, for the city of London. So he was in charge of all of the, uh, of the waste reclamation, everything for the entire city. Very, very important, very, very clever man. Um... But there's Anna going, well, you know, my old man is a dustman. <laughs> kind of the boss of all the dustmen, but still. If you're watching, Tony, uh, this one is still dedicated to you by your daughter, my wife. Uh, everybody, my old man's a dustman. And if you want to do the jokes, okay, uh, feel free. All right, you'll hear, you'll hear me say, I say, I say, I say. The response to that is, what do you say? Okay, so if I say, I say, I say, I say, there we go. So let's have some fun with this one, folks. Now, after this... Uh, the next time I see you will be Sunday morning, and I do want to say uh, there's something happening tomorrow. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, then pop on to Twitter tomorrow morning because I'll be able to share something with you which I've been keeping a secret for a couple of weeks. I've not been able to tell anybody, but I can tell people from tomorrow. Um, so check out Twitter. I can't say anything. No, I can't give you any clues, um, but just uh, all I'll say is embargoed, all right, until tomorrow. So check out Twitter. It's going to be interesting. And then I'll see you on Sunday morning for a bit of a chat. All right. And our sacred sing. So let us have some fun, everyone, with My Old Man's a Dustman. And uh, if, if you've been singing along with me in Cockney mode, don't forget to turn it off before you leave the screen. All right. Otherwise, you might end up going on a Zoom meeting. And you might be teaching all your uh, your students with a Cockney accent. So you know, leave it behind when you uh, when you finish rehearsal. And thank you for being here this afternoon, everybody. Here is my old man's dustman. Now, here's a little story to tell it is a must About an unsung hero that moves away a dust Some people make a fortune, others earn a mint my old man don't earn much, in fact, he's flippin' skint. Everybody, 
Oh, my, my old, old man's a dustman, he wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold blimey trousers and he lives in a council flat. He looks a proper nana in his great big hobnail boots. He's got such job to pull them up that he calls them daisy roots. Some folks give tips at Christmas and some of them forget. Now when he picks their bins up, he spills some on the steps. Now one old man got nasty and to the council wrote. Next time my old man went round there, he punched him up the throat. Oh, my old man's a dustman, he wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold blimey trousers and he lives in a council flat. Time for a joke. I say, I say, I say. What do you say? I found a police dog in me dustbin. How'd you know it was a police dog, eh? Well, he had a policeman with him, didn't Whoa, he? Oh, everybody. No, so my old man's a dustman, he's got a heart of gold. He got married recently, though he's 86 years old. We, we said, here, yeah, hang on, Dad. You're getting past your prime. He said, when well, you get to my age, age it helps, helps to pass the time. Oh, my, my old man's a dustman, he wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold blimey trousers and he lives in a council flat. I say, I say, I say. What do you say? My dustbin's full of lilies. Well, throw them away then. I can't. Lily's wearing them. Oh. Me. Now, one day in a hurry, he missed the lady's bin. He hadn't gone but a few yards when she chased after him. What game do you think you're playing? She cried right from, from the heart. You missed me, am I too late? Now love, jump up on the cart. Oh, my old man's a dustman. He wears a dustman's hat. He wears gold blimey trousers and he lives in a council flat. This is the worst joke of all. I say, I say, I say. What, you again? My dustbin's absolutely full of toadstools. How do you know it's full? Cause there's not much room inside He found the tiger's head one day nailed to a piece of wood The tiger looked quite miserable as I suppose it should Just then from out a window a voice began to wail He said, Oi, where's me tiger's head? Fall the from his tail Oh my old man's a dustman, he wears a dustman's hat he wears gold blimey trousers and he limps in the council flat. Next time you see a dustman looking all pale and sad, don't kick him in the dustbin, it might be my old dad. Oi! <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, ladies and gents, for a brilliant afternoon. Uh, it's always fun singing on a Friday. It doesn't matter whether we're singing music hall or folk or gospel. It is always fun on a Friday. And those of you who are at work, uh, it's not long now to the weekend. It's so lovely to see you folks. Please join me on Sunday for the Sacred Sing. It's going to be really gorgeous. Uh, and then, of course, uh, next week, Tuesday, we're going to be learning the second movement of the Haydn Little Organ Mass, the Gloria, and then that'll be the focus of the deep dive. Uh, and as I say... If you're on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter, if you don't, it's at Mr. Ben England. You can follow me on Twitter. Keep an eye on that tomorrow because there'll be some interesting stuff to share with you all. So in the meantime, everybody, whatever you've got left planned for the rest of the day, I hope it goes really, really well, everybody. And uh, thank you once again for joining me. So take care, folks. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>